it's the fly for doctor. So we know that it's fall slash winter now and the weather's changing and the dreaded <laughs> virus that we've all been sort of trying to stay away from is sort of coming back up again. And I know that a few months back I did post a video about what I did to beat the virus. So now I made it again and I figured it'd be a great time to share the recipe with you guys. Again, this is not a cure, but this is something that'll definitely help your immune system to boost it so it can fight the virus should you come in contact with it, should you get infected with it, or any of those things. Also, it'll help with the cold virus, the flu virus, and any of the viruses that your body needs an upworking immune system to beat. So stick with me, let's make this drink. First off, we're going to wash our pineapple bark. As you see, I'm using soap and water and a sponge because I'm going to use a bark in the drink that we're going to make. And I don't want it to have any debris, any sand, or any dirt or anything of that nature. Pineapple is a very powerful fruit that has something called bromelain. Now, bromelain is a protein digesting enzyme that is derived from the fruit, the stem, and the bark of a pineapple. And here we're going to discuss some of the benefits of bromelain, which includes relieving sinuses, a potent anti-inflammatory enzyme, treats osteoarthritis, and a host of other things that will be beneficial during this time, especially when we're trying to fight this disease. So I am just peeling the bark of the pineapple that we are going to add into the drink because it's going to help us release some of that bromelain. We're using all of the pineapple here, but I want to give us a way that we can use even the bark and the stems. So just peel it as much as you can, of course, leaving some of the pineapple meat intact. And I even use the head and the tail of the pineapple plant. For those who may not be aware, this herbaceous perennial is ginger. Ginger is used in folk medicine as well as spice in numerous countries around the world. And here are some of the benefits that we have of ginger. It's a potent anti-inflammatory that helps with nausea, arthritis, calms indigestion, and helps with a host of other things that is of great benefit to us all. A trick to peeling ginger is using a spoon. That way you, you are able to keep as much of the ginger meat as possible and only peel the skin which is only lightly attached to the ginger itself. Another common spice is garlic which has been used since the beginning of time both in ancient medicine and in Western medicine. Some of the benefits are listed here. And again, it does help with boosting the immune system. So it is very essential to this drink and it's one of those that we absolutely cannot skip. Maybe it may even keep vampires away. We also have turmeric. Turmeric can be termed one of the most hardworking spices in the world. It has a host of benefits from skin benefits, digestive issues, from joint pain, arthritis, and it's commonly found in a lot of cosmetic items as well as household DIY masks for the face and for the hair and things of that nature. You can see some of the benefits of turmeric here and this list goes on and on and on. It is very powerful. It's been said to possibly help with cancer, Alzheimer's, and like I mentioned, heart disease up there. It's also a major ingredient in curry. It is important to note that before we can absorb turmeric, we do need black pepper in our diet as well. So you will see where I do add the black pepper and these are some of the great benefits of having black pepper in our diets. So this is us just going through making this drink. I told you I'm going to use every part of this pineapple. So I'm adding the bark of the pineapple, the inedible center part of the pineapple. All of that has bromelain that I'm going to steep and just have it slowly release. 
I add the peeled ginger and the garlic as well and I'll also add the turmeric in here and what we're going to do is put this on a very low heat fill the pot up with water and just let these wonderful properties just soak out of these spices Once you've had it steeping for about 10 minutes, I take out all of the inedible parts of this drink, which is the bark of the pineapple. At this point, you can really just strain this mixture and drink it on its own. You can serve it as hot tea or just have it as iced tea. This is sufficient enough to have all the potent antioxidative, anti-inflammatory, and all the other benefits that this mixture will have. But being that I am surrounded by a lot of people every day, I want to make sure that I squeeze out as much benefit as possible so I blend together the rest of the spices that were steeped. Once I've finished blending it, I do strain it and this is what we have. It is not the most appealing color I know, but this is super powerful. Now I put this earlier because this is green tea that has something called flavonoids. Green tea is super amazing because it has anti-inflammatory properties, it helps fight diabetes, it detoxifies the body, helps with cholesterol, speeds up the metabolism, helps with weight loss, and a host of other benefits. So I literally just steep it in this mixture that I have so that some of the benefits could also seep into the drink. And I add the black pepper, which we've already discussed the benefits up front, and stir it all together and let this come into a very low simmer. Now, if the flavor is a little too strong for you, here I have fresh pineapple juice and fresh papaya juice that I mix with the drink so my kids can actually drink it. So that's something you can do, or you can have a very um, nice cocktail with it. There are a host of ways that you can enjoy this beneficial drink. I hope that was comprehensive enough for you guys. And I hope that I explained everything as clear and as concise that you guys will be able to recreate this drink. If you do make it, let me know. Leave a comment down below. I'd really love to see it. And of course, there are lots of variations to this. There's no hard and fast rule. The bottom line is you want to boost your immune system. You want your body to do the work. You want food to be our medicine. And so that's what I'm doing here. You can add any fruits, like I said, you can add any other substitutes, whatever it is that'll help some of your family members to drink it. But the key ingredients are some of the things that I've put in there, which are ginger, garlic, turmeric, and black pepper, and bromelain as well. Also, you could add some lemon slices for the vitamin C and things like that. So if you're new to this channel, again, it's the Fly Foot Doctor. If you enjoyed the video, would you consider subscribing, please? Also hit the thumbs up button so that we will know that we're doing something and we're providing you guys with information that will be beneficial to you. And also share this video with friends and family. We are all in this together and we need to beat this. So we need our bodies to be working at the best. So please share this video with your friends and family on Facebook and Instagram. Also follow me on my other platforms on Instagram and TikTok and again, right here on YouTube. Thank you guys for sticking with me. Again, it's the Fly for Doctor. Till next time, bye.